Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video, we will learn about uh, how to reduce uh, defects in production. This is a very important uh, thing every tester or test layer or test manager or entire development team should understand how we can reduce the defects which we land up in the production. That is the key goal for every person in the software development life cycle. Then that would give a lot of uh, bad image or that would uh, give a bad name to the, any organization. So we will try to understand what are the various things we should do in order to reduce the defects which we land up in the production. The first one is we should tighten up our uh, defect management processes with the given uh, new way of working like uh, we are working with agile or devops working concepts. Um, we will be keep getting uh, bugs or defects uh, every often. There is no way we can stop uh, getting uh, new defects or new bugs. But our goal should be not just uh, identifying the defects, but also we should be focusing on how we are going to tackle those uh, defects, especially major or critical bugs well before we are releasing so that uh, in the early stages itself, if you are able to catch these critical or major bugs, definitely we can avoid uh, these bugs and uh, issues which will go into the production by using the right uh, defect tracking tools, right way of analyzing it, right uh, strategy if you are following the defect management process well before, definitely we can avoid as many defects which we land up in the production. That is the first thing we should do. And the second one is uh, we should use the right uh, metrics in order to in order to avoid the defects moving onto the production uh, environment. We have to use uh, uh, metrics like defect escape rate metrics. Normally, the defect escape rate metrics will be measuring uh, number of uh, defects which we got escaped from the testing team uh, while development and uh, how many defects which we found out during the production phase. If we are able to use this metric very effectively, we can easily find out uh, where the challenges in terms of uh, handling our overall testing processes or testing tools or anything related to testing. Like whenever we have a higher defect escape rate, the more defects we are going, which are moved to the, the more defects which are moved to the production, that means we have a problem with our testing tools or we have a problem with the overall testing processes itself. And when we have a lower uh, defect escape rate, that means uh, we are having a good uh, testing processes and we are following uh, good uh, defect tracking uh, tools and we are managing uh, overall goals also very effectively if we are tracking this uh, defect escape rate. And the next one is software requirement analysis. This is also a very crucial. Unless if you are not analyzing the requirements properly, we cannot design right things or we cannot develop the right things. And uh, it becomes very challenging as well. So we should do as much as recommend analysis and gather as much as uh, information so that uh, whatever the issues which we can find out in the recommend phase itself, we need not find the same thing during testing. Even this is also very crucial in order to avoid uh, defects getting moved into the production. The next one is uh, code review sessions. Even for development team, this is a very crucial even for automation team as well. Unless if you are not doing in-depth uh, code reviews, code we write and every defects which we get then appropriately if you are not factored uh, code or uh, analyzing the code, it becomes very challenging. Uh, later stages. And the next one is uh, the root cause analysis. Every defect which we log into the system, bug tracking system, as a tester, we should performing a root cause analysis where we will be trying to understand what is the rationale or what is the reason these defects are keep coming in a particular module or a particular area and what is the rationale behind it, whether it is because of uh, lack of test cases or lack of test coverage or lack of our uh, testing knowledge or lack of unit testing. We have to do a detailed uh, root cause analysis for every major critical or every defect in that matter 
so that uh, we get as much as information possible so that we can try to bring in right approaches right planning so that we can definitely avoid uh, defects move on to the production environment and the next one is once we do all the information which we just talked about we should be in a position to fine tune the test plan in a more granular way unless if you are not fine tuning our test plan in a very granular le level and very effective way by giving enough information enough detailed uh, steps enough uh, detailed uh, information in that then definitely we cannot track or we cannot monitor what activities are really happening where are we on um, more overall uh, testing activity the some of the information which we normally we should should not miss in the test plan is uh, what kind of testing we should uh, perform as part of your uh, testing activities whether it could be functional non functional everything and what is the overall budget requirement and what how much is the schedule what is the efforts everything we should uh, clearly document in a test plan and what are the total resources are required that also very effectively should retain what are the risks what are the um, um, mitigations for every risk which we normally anticipate what are the tools and environment every detail we should clearly document in the test plan definitely that would help us to track uh, the overall uh, testing activity or testing journey very effectively if you are doing the right planning then definitely execution becomes very easy if your execution becomes very easy then definitely we can stop as much as defects moving into the production